Hey, good morning everybody. Uh, today I've got a little chore. Um, we've had a bunch of trees out here absolutely decimated by beetles. So about every seventh or eighth tree out here that's a spruce is just dead as a doornail. Two of those large trees are right next to my cabin. I never wanted to cut those down. I actually kept them. I put my wood in between the two of them and they are now both dead as a doornail. It really stinks. I've got to take these trees down. If they go the wrong way during a windstorm, they will definitely just cut my cabin in half like a stick of butter. So I'll give you guys a quick shot of those trees. They're actually right behind me. So bear with me while I move you guys. So it's that big one right there and that's a big boy. And then his brother right over there, much smaller, but they are both 100% beetle kill. So, you guys have come with me. Uh, we're going to go cut this thing down. I will be honest with you. I really do not feel 100% about this. If this thing goes south on me, oh boy. I'm going to have to stay at a neighbor's house tonight or for the next couple of weeks for that matter. So, uh, Let's pray this thing goes right. And here's the tree I'm talking about, guys. Here's the base of it. So he's a big boy. And I'll give you a shot from right here. As you can see, it is 100% dead, guys. And it has got a slight lean backwards towards the cabin. So I'm, at, so am I excited about doing this? No, I'm not. I'm gonna do the best I can and cross my fingers. All right, guys, stick around. Let's see how this goes. All right, guys. So this is the uh, tree I got to cut down. As you can see, it's a big boy. I know you guys have got bigger trees where you are, but for us out here where I'm at, this is considered a big boy. And I'd say it's about 110 feet tall. I'm just guesstimating, I don't really know. But my cabin is 25 feet that way. If this thing goes towards the cabin, it's game over. The idea is I'm gonna try to get it to go that way. There are two trees that are right here, so it is going to run up against the brush on those. So I'm going to go ahead and start making all my cuts and whatnot back here. I'm going to put Teresa down at the end of the trail, so you'll be able to see the tree coming at you. So with some luck, I put her far enough away to where the tree doesn't just drive her into the snow like a nail. So bear with me, guys. Here we go. Stage three. It's rocking. All right, everybody, I got it down in the right direction. I did not cut my cabin in half. So I'll bring you over here in a second. The idea is that I was trying to take it that way. But when I was cutting, my wedge was bad underneath and it just kind of rolled off to the side. So looks like a lot of good usable lumber in here. But yeah, you can tell that it's just, it is 100% dead from beetle kill. So it had to come down, guys. I hate to do it because I love this tree. This is the tree that I look out of the window when I'm sitting in the, uh, the cabin. It's got my thermometer hanging on it, but it had to go. So there it is. I dropped it in soft snow, so I'm not too happy about that. So it's going to be a kind of a pain in the butt to go clean that up. I wanted to drop it on the hard pack trail, but you don't always get what you want. But to be honest with you guys, I was more nervous than anything about this thing just going the wrong way and hitting my cabin. So as long as it went the other way, I consider this a win. All right, guys, I'm going to buck this up real quick. 
So what I'm going to do with this tree is I'm going to do some foundation work here in a minute. So I'm going to go in there, I'm going to start jacking the, the cabin up, I'm then going to take measurements, and I'm going to start taking butts off of it, rounds off of this tree to start leveling out my cabin. So that's what the butt of this is. Probably the first 10 or 15 feet will be used for that. And I also want to use this one for that because of just the diameter of it. There's plenty of other trees out here, but I like how round this one is. So I'll use sections of this to shore up the cabin once I jack it up. All right, guys. Let's get to bucking this thing up, or at least squaring off the butt end of it. the rings on this thing I want you guys to go ahead and leave your uh, guesses down in the comments below how old do you think this tree is the person who is the closest I will send you guys a little something a little present I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet but I will reveal it later so in the comments below everybody give an idea of how old they think this tree is Okay, so I'll count the rings on that right there, and uh, on the next video, I'll go ahead and put that out. But you guys leave the, uh, the comments in the, the uh, section below, and we'll go from there. Alright guys, I got some work to do. Once it hits that gas.
can feel that over here. Can you? Yeah.